Right, so we're going to be learning about kinetic mo kin kinematic motion and graphs. So, look at the three different graphs and try to interpret what is happening at different points of time. So, what we should know, so this is, a lot of students have a hard time with graphs, but there are many graph problems in uh, AP Physics. So, what we should know is, when we have a linear curve like this, especially when it's going upwards like this, what that is showing is that it's accelerating, okay? And it's getting faster and faster. And how we should know that is at the very beginning when it's not that steep. Uh, that means it's going a very low, uh, very short distance and it's taking a very long amount of time. However, over here we can see that it goes a very far distance in a very short amount of time. So we can see that it's getting faster and faster for this position versus time graph. We can also see that over here, we're going from 0 meters per second to 15 meters per second. So we are accelerating, speeding up, going faster and faster. This acceleration versus time graph shows the same thing, that we are accelerating, uh, we're going faster and faster. Over here, we can see that this position versus time graph is linear. And when that is linear like that, it means that we're moving at a constant pace. So th there's a certain amount of distance and a certain amount of time. And it's the same over here and over here, the same amount. So this is going to be a constant speed. And then we can also see at this graph here, when it's flat like that, it's remaining at 15 meters per second. So this is going to be a constant speed. So this is a velocity versus time. So this is saying, oh, for these two seconds, it's going at the same speed, constant speed. And when there's constant speed, that means that there is zero acceleration, zero acceleration. Okay, and now we have this huge thing over here where we're going up like this. And uh, let me just talk about that first part. So what we can see is over here starting to flatten out. And when we see something is flattening out, that means it's pretty much staying at the same position for a certain amount of time. So let's say this is at 130 meters. It's staying at 130 meters for like a good amount of time. So what that's showing is it's slowing down. Whenever you see something that's flattening out like this, that means it's slowing down down okay and you can see that here we're going from 15 meters per second to zero meters per second so we can see that we are slowing down okay we're going from 15 to zero uh, slowing down and then over here what we can see is we're going to start to kind of speed up but in the other direction so over here it's still kind of flat but then over here it gets a lot more dramatic you can see the slope is a lot more so it's getting faster and faster in this negative direction, we can see that. And we can see that we start off slow at zero, and then we're getting faster and faster. By the end, we're going negative 10 meters per second. So we're getting faster and faster. So I'm going to say speeding up. So whenever you see something like taking like a dive like this, where it's starting to be more exponential, then that means it's speeding up. Whenever it's flattening out like that, that means it's slowing down. Okay. And then we can see that same thing. Well, we have this negative acceleration. So when we're going in the positive direction, it's slowing down. And when we're going in the negative direction, it's speeding up. So we have this negative acceleration that shows that. And then over here, we have this kind of like, uh, we have this like flattening out thing again. So when we start to flatten out again, we are slowing down, slowing down. Okay, and we can see that we're at negative 10 meters per second, and then we're going towards zero. So we're slowing down. And then over here, it's just flat, so we're staying at the same position the whole time, so no movement. So no movement. Okay, no movement means zero meters per second, zero meters per second. All right? And that's a little bit about these graphs and how we're going to be doing these problems. Students have a really hard time with this, but there are a lot of graphing problems in this uh, in AP Physics C. So let's look at this. Uh, match the following graphs with each other. So we have a position versus time graph. We have a velocity versus time graph. And we have the acceleration versus time graph. Of course, I suggest you guys pause and try to figure this out on your own. But what we can see here is uh, over here again, it's kind of flat at the beginning. So long. Uh, so this is taking a long amount of time, but we're going a very short amount of distance. But over here, we can see that this is a very short amount of time, but we have this huge distance that we're covering. So it's getting faster and faster. So over here, we're getting faster and faster. So what's showing this is we're starting out at zero speed here, and we're getting faster and faster. If we're getting faster and faster, uh, what, and we're going in the positive direction, that shows a positive acceleration. Okay. And part B over here, again, 
we're slowing down and starting to flatten out over here in this position versus time graph. At the very beginning, in a short amount of time, we went a large amount of distance. But over here, even at a very long amount of time, the distance we covered is very small. Okay? So we can see that we're slowing down here. Maybe I'm going to square this. Okay, we're going to square that. And so we're slowing down. So what we should see is, okay, this one is slowing down. It starts at a high speed and is going towards zero. So we're slowing down. Okay, so if we're going from a high speed, a positive speed, to a lower speed, that means we have a negative acceleration. Negative acceleration. Okay, this next one here, we can see that, again, we're starting to flatten out here. So that means we're slowing down, and then we're taking a dive, so then we're starting to speed up. So at the beginning, we're going fast, and then we're slowing down, and then again, we're starting to go fast again. So that's what's happening here. We start out fast, then we slow down to zero, and then we start going fast again. Uh, and let me just star this one. Okay. Star. Um, and then this one also is actually going to be A, because we're, you can see the slope. It's going towards the negative direction, so we have a negative acceleration. And then this last one, maybe I'll underline this one. So this one here, we can see that we're moving linearly. So uh, this is a linear motion. So we're moving at constant velocity, going positive first, and then we're going negative. And that's what we have. We have a constant velocity here. And then later on, we have a constant negative velocity. So this is going to be that right there. And so if we're going at a constant velocity, that means there's zero acceleration. All right? All right, hope, I'll watch that again if it doesn't make sense. But that's how we should be interpreting these graphs. All right, so this next question says, find the acceleration and displacement of each segment. So what we have here is we have a velocity versus time graph. And let's do the acceleration first. So for A here, uh, man, I guess I don't really have the best view. But for acceleration of a velocity versus time graph, remember, acceleration is equal to V final minus V initial over T. So it's pretty much the slope, the rise from 0 to 30 over the run from 0 to 5. So this can just be uh, the final velocity is going to be 30, right here. Initial velocity is 0, and time is 5 seconds. So what this is going to be, we have 30 minus 0 over 5, and this is going to be equal to 6 meters per second squared. Part B, what we have is it starts at 30 and it ends at 30, so that means it didn't accelerate at all. It stayed at a constant speed. 30 minus 30 goes to zero. It doesn't matter what the time is, so this is just zero meters per second squared. C is we started at 30, but we ended up at 20. So this is going to be 20 minus 30 over 5 seconds. So 20 minus 30, that's going to be negative 10 over 5. Uh, so that's going to be uh, equal to negative 2 meters per second squared. Maybe I should I should just write it out. Let me write it out first. Mm -hmm. So 20 minus 30 over 5, and this is going to be equal to negative 2 meters per second squared. And then D again, we're staying at the same speed, 20 meters per second, 20 meters per second. So again, that's going to be 0. And then E, uh, we started at 20 meters per second, and then we ended up at 0. So it's going to be 0 minus 20 over a time of 5 seconds. So it's going to be negative 4 meters per second squared. Okay? And that's how we find the acceleration of each of these. So now, what we're going to do, I'm going to get rid of this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find what the displacement is of each of these. So the displacement is a little bit different. So the displacement, how we can find the displacement actually is the area under the curve. So the area under the curve of all of these, wow, my straight line is not so straight. <laughs> the area under the curve of each of these will give us what the displacement is. Okay? So we can find this area by one half base times height. So for A, one half, base is five, height is 30. Okay? So then we get uh, 150 and one half. So this is going to be 75 meters. And part B, we, we're moving at a constant velocity. So remember velocity, uh, I mean, the dis speed equals distance over time. So distance times time gives us, I mean, the speed times time gives us also distance. So that would just be 30 times the time 5, and that's going to be uh, 50. And that's the same thing. So if we look at the area under the curve here, 
we have 30 times 5. So it's going to be 30 times 5, and we have 150 meters. Yeah. And this one's a little complicated. So what we have is we have a square down here, square down here, and then a triangle up here. So we're going to do a few things. We're going to do 1 half base, which is 5, times height, which is going to be 10, because this from here to here is 10, uh, 10. And then plus, we're going to do a base times height. So this goes 20 and then 5. So 20 and then 5. So we get 100 times 25. So this is going to be 125 meters. And then D, again, we have another um, square. So this one is going to be 20 times 5. And we get 100 meters. And last one, we have a little triangle, E. And then we get 1 half base, 5, times height, 20. So we get 50 meters. Okay? And that's how you do these uh, graphs. So this is velocity versus time. So um, for velocity versus time, the area under the curve will give you the displacement. And the slope of the curve will give you the acceleration. And for the area, uh, yes. And that's, so that's how that works for the velocity versus time. And then you should get answers like this. Okay? All right, moving on. All right, so now let's look at these word problems. Uh, an object starts its motion with a constant velocity of 2 meters per second toward the east. After 3 seconds, the object stops for 1 second. The object then moves towards the west for 2 meters in 3, me three seconds. The object continues traveling in the same direction, but increases speed by one meter. Increase, I like this, increase, so it's accelerating, by one meter per second for the next two seconds. Which graph could represent the motion of the object? So, constant velocity of two meters per second. So, at the very beginning, we should have a constant slope, and we're going towards the east, so we should be in the positive direction. So, this looks good initially, and this looks good initially. Uh, this does not look good initially because it's going in the negative direction. So this And this looks good. Uh, the object stops for one second. Uh, we see that this one doesn't stop. It, like, teleports. It goes from here to here in no amount of time. So, no. This one, yes, there's a flat. So, we see that it stays at the same spot. So, yes. And this one also stays at the same spot. So, yes. Uh, again, oh, this one does stay. So, this one's a yes, but it's already at. So, that won't work. The object then moves towards the west a distance of two meters and three seconds. So, that means we're going to go down. So, this one, yeah, we are going down. So, this one checks out. But this one does not. We're not. We're still. This one's still going the positive direction, though. So we can see that C is the correct answer. Okay. All right. Let's move on. A small cart is moving with a constant, uh, a constant positive velocity of ten meters per second. It then rolls up a ramp, just making it over the top, and rolls back down the ramp. Lastly, the car rolls along a level floor. Which of the following velocity versus time graph best represents its motion? So this is. Velocity versus time, okay? So at the beginning, it's moving with a constant positive velocity. So a constant velocity, so this shows it's a constant velocity here. So this checks out, and this one checks out. So that's good. Everything else is a no, 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 no. This shows a changing velocity. These all, But this one's a constant velocity, constant velocity. Okay, uh, and roll, uh, okay, it then rolls up a ramp just makes it over the top and rolls back down. So if it just makes it over, that means uh, over here, it's going to be almost zero uh, velocity, okay? So we see for this one, we do get close to zero. Uh, it does go close to zero. And we also see this one does go close to zero, so that might work out, okay? Uh, lastly, the car rolls along a level floor, which of the, oh wait, okay, and rolls back down the ramp, okay? It rolls back down the ramp. Okay, um, so what we see is it rolls back down the ramp, but still going in the positive direction. It's not like it's going left or anything like that. So that means it should be going in the positive direction, which this does, so that's great. But this shows that it goes in the negative direction. This would say that it's, it rolled back down or something, but it didn't go back down. It kept going in the positive direction. So we can see that this is the correct answer. All right. All right, let's look at this. The motion of a particle is described in the, in the velocity versus time graph shown in the figure below. What can we say about the speed? Okay, so it starts here, comes here, and then goes over here. 
So we can see that it's going negative meters per second, and then it approaches zero. So that means it's slowing down, and then it starts to get faster and faster and faster. So it decreases and then increases. It's slow. It's it has a speed of negative two meters per second, but then it goes to zero, and then it gets faster and faster, going to four meters per second. Okay. All right. Uh, the velocity versus time graph represents the motion of a car. What are the times at which the object is at rest? So this is velocity versus time. So pause it, try to think about it. But we should know it's going to be at rest whenever the velocity is zero. So it's going to be here and here. So that's going to be at like, what, 8 seconds and what, around 35, 36 seconds? So we see this correct answer. Okay. Uh, remember, this flat for velocity versus time just means constant velocity. Okay, so it's not, if this was a position versus time, then this is where it's uh, moving at zero velocity. But this is not position versus time, this is velocity versus time. Okay, the velocity uh, versus time graph represents the motion of cart. What is the time at which the cart changes direction? Okay, so what we should know is over here, we start, we're going fast, and then we're slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. And then we start moving in the negative direction. So we're slowing down the positive direction, and we start getting faster and faster in the negative direction. So over here, we change directions. The same over here. We're going fast in the negative direction, but we're slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, zero. And now we start moving in the positive direction. So it would be like, in this, let's look at this case. This case, it's like someone's like walking, and then he's slowing down, and then he starts to get, he starts to, he turns around, it starts getting faster and faster in the opposite direction, okay? So it's, again, going to be 8 seconds and 36 seconds. Okay? That's the last problem for this one. So I'm glad you guys watch, and I'll see you at the next one.